just wanted to do a quick video about this SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. These are these um, you know, rugged SSDs. There's two models. This is the previous generation. This is the newer generation. Uh, this The newer one promises up to uh, 1050 megabytes per second transfer speeds, uh, read and write, up to 1000. Um, yeah, which is fine. Um, you know, and there's a lot of reviews online that I find don't properly cover this topic. They basically don't tell you anything. They say, this is the fastest drive ever and it gives you such and such speeds. The problem is you need a USB 3.2 port, 3.2 port for this to work at that speed. It will work with older USBs. You can use it in a 3.1 or a 3.0 port, but unless you have a relatively new motherboard, you won't have 3.2. It just, you just won't have it. This is the older one. Um, this one promises, I believe it's somewhere around 500 megabytes per second transfer speed. Now here's the interesting thing. If you put the same two drives in a 3.0 port, for example, USB 3.0 port, you're gonna get more or less the same speeds, even though this is an NVMe M.2 drive, and this is a SATA M.2 drive. So they look similar, but they're different connectors. You can look up the difference between NVMe versus just SATA, um, PCI Express SATA. But here's the thing. If you run this on a 3.2 drive, you will get substantially faster speeds. I did a quick test of this. I plugged this into my USB uh, 3.2 port. I have a USB-C 3.2 and a USB-A 3.2. These come with the adapter, so you can use either. Um, just to just test this method. And yes, when you plug this into an older port, you get the same speed as this more or less. So I'll just give you a quick look at that. Okay, and here we are. Uh, this is the drive here. It's, uh, well, let's go back. It is the Q drive. So here we are, Q drive. I'm not sure why it's identified. I guess that's the drive inside of it. Um, so it has an SN550, which is interesting. I, I guess Western Digital and Samsung, uh, SanDisk. So it has basically the same as my primary drive, which is a uh, uh, NVMe SN550 drive, which is the same as that, um, I believe. But uh, yeah, anyways, so that's the SanDisk right there. Q. So we'll give that a run. This is just plugged into a USB 3.0 port. And we'll see how that comes up. Here we are finishing off. So you can see here, this is the, uh, just plugged into my USB-C port, but it's not a 3.2 uh, Gen 2. So you're getting you know, 400, 500 megabytes speeds, which is basically the speed of this. Same test, same drive. Now plug it into the rear USB-C, which is a 3.2. Boom. Even the test is faster. So we can let this continue, but I think you see the point here. So just as a comparison, we're going to do a test on the old one. And I can guarantee you that this newer drive in an older port is going to perform no different than this older drive. Look at that. So there's the case, the older drive versus the newer drive. If you're using an older port, no difference. So I guess the decision is if you're gonna buy one of these quick drives, you know, with those extra speeds for more money, do you even have a compatible USB to take advantage of it? If not, just get an older drive like the Samsung T5 for the original one of these, if you can still find them. But uh, if not, Samsung T5 is an older drive, you'll get the same speeds. Just for posterity measures, I decided to plug the older drive 
not this one, the original, back into the 3.2 port. I just want to see if it makes a difference. I mean, the point of the video is to show that if you're not using a 3.2 drive, there's no point in getting one of these uh, faster drives. But let's see if the 3.2 increases the speed of the older one too. Yep, a little bit, but still, it's nowhere near the speed of this. So that's the case in point. Uh, you know, if you have one of these older M.2 drives, um, you know, a newer generation USB port is going to make a little bit of a difference, get a little bit more speed, nothing life altering. However, if you're getting one of these newer drives, these faster drives that require 3.2, USB 3.2, uh, to get the max speed, and you don't have that, you're basically nerfing your performance, right? So if you're gonna get one of those new Samsung T7 drives or the Sandros Extreme Pro, if you don't have a USB 3.2, you're uh, gonna get speeds basically last gen. There you go, thanks for watching.